China is just one of the countries now using technology to help find missing children. The United States is doing it too. I talked about that with Todd Matthews. He works on a database used by law enforcement called the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. Well, you know, apps or any, you know, the media is, is some of our best technology for helping find missing children or missing adult for that matter. The, the quicker we can get the communication out in front of other people, especially regionally, uh, the apps are wonderful for that because it targets an audience. And timing's everything, isn't it? I mean, you, you really have a short window of opportunity to work with, don't you? You do. You do have a very short window of opportunity when somebody, you know, a child or adult's missing, you have to communicate that information out there as quickly as possible, get their face in front of as many people as possible. So talk to me about how this app works. Okay, the Amber Alert app, it is basically, you know, it, it pushes the face and the and information about a missing person, missing child in front of a lot of people in a very regional area. So law enforcement know where to target and, and they do it very well. Can you talk to me, I mean, when I first think of Amber Alert, I, I always think of these billboards are out there that people might see as they're driving around, but, but something like this, an app's a, a lot more immediate, uh, it's right there, you know, folks are always fixated on their phones. So talk to me about the difference, you know, you were talking about media as being an important tool. How important mm -hmm. is this tool compared to other forms of media? You know, this app is very important because everybody has their phone in their hands these days. It, it rarely, I rarely lay my phone down, so it's more effective than a billboard or something you'd see on television or radio because, you know, at, your telephone's glued to your hand most of the time. Talk to me about success stories. Success stories, there, there have been lots of cases where we've actually successfully got the image out to people and we start getting calls right away. Law enforcement start hearing, uh, you know, this person was spotted here. It's, it's, it's the best thing right now, you know, just, just getting the information out in front of as many people as you can as quickly as possible is, is the ultimate success. So Todd, talk to me about evolution because we keep seeing all these milestones in technology um, and I don't think we think about them as, as law enforcement tools or tools to, for, of discovery like this. Um, where do you see technology going in the future? Well, you know, originally, you know, the Internet was not something the law enforcement used when it first came onto the scene. It was uh, something that a lot of people had access to, but it wasn't considered a law enforcement tool. But it revolutionized the way we communicate. Uh, we talk, I talk to people every day that I would never have an opportunity to talk with if we didn't have the Internet. So that's what's improved, and I, I see it just going faster and faster. Um, I think we're going to have more video technology available more quickly. And the phones are getting thinner, faster, uh, and everybody has one now. And I think just the availability of these phones, everybody has them. I remember back in the day when law enforcement didn't have mobile devices, and now they all have mobile devices. It, it's become mainstream. Yeah, it sure has. Todd Matthews, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.